Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I got a bit of a surprise for you today because I went missing last week. So I was going to save this video to do it with my mum. But I thought, you know what, let me give him a treat because there was patient with me last week. Even though yours was, I'm hitting up my line. But I'm here. So today is going to be a story time on how I tried to get my mum locked up. Yes, I did it. I did it. I went against the grain. I know, like, no matter what happens, you should never, like, go against your parents, go against your family. But I just feel like I was, <laughs> I was pushed to my limit. So let's get into the story time. So I'm going to take you back. All right, let me just give you a bit of a backstory. So my whole childhood, right, my whole childhood, I was really, like, protected. I was, like, put in a bubble. And my mum and my brother literally didn't let me do a thing but growing up I, I was fine with it because i never wanted to, like i had my brother like when i'd playing out to me was in the back garden with my brother playing goalie football i was in goal then we'd switch over then he that was playing out to me and it was fine we had so much gadgets and so much to do indoors like i didn't really need to go out there i was, had so much cousins that i didn't really long to go out with my friends then i went to high school around year nine <laughs> You know, I started wanting to, you know, go. I didn't want to play out with my brother anymore. I wanted to, I, want, I thought I was a big woman, do you get it? So, um, one of my friends, it all started because one of my friends lost their virginity, right? And yeah, now she lost their virginity. And we were so extra. We were like, oh my God, we all need to go to the brook. We all need to go to the brook. So one Saturday, I must have lied to my mum. I was going to my cousins and I must have went to the brook with one of my friends. And she was in the consultation. You know where the two of you, like the girl and the GP or whatever they are at the brook. She was having that consultation. <laughs> right, so I was closest to this friend. So I went into the consultation with her, but with me, my dopey ass, I was not listening to nothing they were saying, and she was like telling her about, oh, um, what was she saying? Oh, she's had sex, and she wants to go on contraception, and they didn't have the contraception she wanted there, then and then, because I think she wanted to get the injection, but they couldn't do it then and then, they had to book her in to come back. So in the meantime, she was like, here, I take these condoms, the ra and then I was looking around the room and she was like, do you, do you need some condoms too? I looked at my friends. I said to the woman, yes I do. Yes I do. These times, my vagina had never been touched. What did I need condoms for? <laughs> I said with my chest, I need the condoms. Give me the condoms. Thank you so much. So I took the condoms, literally put them in my makeup bag at home and forgot all about them. Right, a couple of weeks passed, I was out at one of my other cousin's house, I think I was with Sasha, Rhiannon and Oliver at my house, they're going with my makeup bag and they're playing, find my condoms, <laughs> they find my condoms and they're like to my mum, oh my god, we found these in Aaliyah's makeup bag. So my mum's phoned, my mum's phoned and she's like, bring Aaliyah fucking home now. She's found my uncle like, bring Aaliyah home now and i'm thinking what have i done i've tied in my room like everything's patterned like i've done all my chores so why do i have to go home because it's saturday night she's like bring Aaliyah home now i'm not fucking joking so my uncle's like oh you gotta go home i don't know what's wrong with your mum but you gotta go home so i went home and she's on the phone to my dad she's like tell your dad tell your dad i was like tell my dad what i was so confused she's like i was like tell my dad what she's like tell him and, and my dad was like, Paris, Aaliyah is not sexually active. What are you talking about? And my dad, my mum was like, Patrick, shut up. Let her tell her yourself. Tell him you've been having sex. Tell him you've been having sex. I was like, I have not fucking been having sex. I was like, what are you on about? And I had, I had an issue because I was really having fun at my cousin's. She might be come back here for foolishness. So I really had an issue. I was like, I haven't been having sex. Like, what are you on about? What are you talking about? She's like, tell your dad the truth. And my dad was like, she ain't having sex, man. Come off my line, bro. <laughs> Why well, can't I speak about that? My dad was like, come off my line. She is not having sex. Like, I wouldn't know if she's having sex. I feel like your dad just knows. Do you get it? So, what happened? So, I was catching her at you. She was like, you made me come back here for nothing. She's like, so why you got condoms? And I went, I didn't tell her why I had the condoms because I weren't trying to snitch on my friend. Because if I told her my friend had received the pipe, she wouldn't let me hang out. She won't let me hang out with this friend. Do you get it? She'll make sure she does everything so I can't hang out with this friend. So I was just like, like what? I was like, give it, Miss Lay, give it to me in sex education. So shut up. So shut up, man. Shut up. 
caught attitude, caught the biggest attitude. Like she's like, "Wait, you think you're a bad girl? I show you bad girl. Oh, they've got the green stick." I was like, oh my god, the green stick, like, basically, Olive had, like, some fucking demonic toy, and it came with, like, these sticks, a, a green, the green stick was a part of the toy, right, so she's like, Olive, get the green stick, she thinks she's bad, get the green stick, I guess, oh my goodness gracious me, because none of us had ever been beaten with the green stick, it was just there for fear factor, so when she's telling Olive to get the green stick, I'm thinking, oh no, not the stick, damn. So, Olive comes with a stick, little pie again. I, if that was me, I'd pretend I couldn't find the stick, you get it? But Olive wanted to see, we get beef. So Olive come with a the stick, then um, she's like, hold out your hand. I was like, no. She's like, hold out your hand. I was like, no. I'm like, hold out your hand for you to beat me, no. So then she just started beating my body, and I, I swear to God, I felt so violated. I felt like she proper battered me. Like, I felt like... I was in the ring with John Cena and I felt really, she didn't even beat me that bad, like honestly, <laughs> Sasha's hair, <Hermes> is. <laughs> she didn't beat me that bad, but my in my head, it was like I had just been beat up by Mike Tyson, I swear to God. So I went to bed, I went to bed, you know them sleeps after you got beaten, I had one of them good sleeps and I remember I weren't chatting to her, weren't trying to chat to her, like stayed in my room all day Sunday, but when I was in my room I was watching Tracy Baker. Okay, so I saw how the dumping ground, like Jake cooks crocodiles and chips every night, Justine, I was like, Justine, it's going to be my girl then, um, do you get it, Justine, me and Justine, we'll really get on, like, Tracy Baker was really appealing to me, so I was like, do you know what, it's actually illegal to beat kids in England, you are in Africa now, I said, it's okay, cool. I'm really telling my teachers what she's done, <laughs> I'm really telling my teachers what you've done, so Monday come. And no, Sunday night, I'm plotting the whole thing. I'm like, I'm going to go, I'm going to speak to the teacher. She's going to send me to the nurse. Like, everything, this, that, the other, da, 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 Right? So, I was like, I'm going to go to school. I'm going to limp. These times, my legs has not even been touching her. She's like, when she's beating me with the green, <laughs> when she's beating me with the green stick, I feel, I can't remember. She was like beating my arms. Like, because she was doing places where like, if I get bruises, the teachers won't be able to see but I shall them anyway Paris so um what did it so I, I was I was practicing my limp I'm gonna be limping I was practicing all these I was practicing my story getting my story straight what I'm gonna tell the police what I'm gonna tell the social workers really getting my story straight right so I'm gonna come get my iPad because she took my iPod because she took my phone but she didn't take my iPod so I put my iPod in, I walked to school, I was listening to Mariah Carey, Hero, I was listening to Mariah Carey, we belong together the whole way to school, like, I was really, I was really trying to make myself cry, and then I was winding myself up, winding myself up with the music, you know when you're trying to make yourself cry, that's what I was doing, so I really made myself cry, so I got into form, and my attention seeking ass, you know when you're like crying into your hands on the desk, I was like, and my teacher was like, Aaliyah, and I just was like, she was like, didn't lift up my head. She's like, she comes, she's like, Aaliyah, let's go outside, let's talk. Everyone in forms looking at me like, did you know I just got beaten two days ago? Don't look at me like that because you don't know I'm a struggle, do you get it? I'm outside and I was like, I need to see the nurse. And my form I was like, why Aaliyah? I was just like, hmm. I just need to see the nurse. It's confidential. It's confidential. And she was like, Elia, what's happened? I was like, my mum beat me up. She always beats me up, but I've just had enough now. So she's like, okay, go to the nurse. So I went to the nurse, right? And if you, like, the nurse in my whole high school was a little bit worthless. Seriously. Every time I'd go to her, I'd go to her for period pains. She'd give me ice. I'd go for her because I had a headache. She'd give me ice. I'd go for her because I broke my legs. She would give me every little thing. She'd give me ice. So when I went to her and I told her my sub story, she gave me hot chocolate. I was thinking, nah, I'm definitely going to care. Like, I'm definitely going to the dumping ground because no ice around here, baby. So I told her what happened and she was like, these are very serious allegations that they are. Like, you sure you want to do this? Because I, I want to do it. I want to do it. I've got the bruises on my arms. I didn't have one bruise, you know. I did not have one bruise. I was like, I want to do it. So I was like, so when am I going to be going to care? Like, I've got a bag packed in my house. So how are we going to do this? Like, when are the police going to take my mum? Like, how are we going to do this? So, so she was like, mm, 
you not go to care. She was like, we're going to send some social workers out and maybe the police to investigate the situation. But yeah, we're not going to remove you from the house just like that. I says, I says, what? Say that again, miss. Because, like, I told you I got beat up. Like, she beat me with a stick. She was like, yeah, we're not going to remove you from the house. So I was like, what the fuck? All of this for nothing. So I was like, okay, then when's the social worker going to come? She was like, I'm going to get in contact with them and then they'll just come to your house. I was like, okay. Okay. So a couple of days, and this was the Monday in school. So I think it was like the Wednesday. I'm at home my mum. We've even made up now. We've made up by now. The door knocks. And she's like, yeah, get the door. So I've opened the door to see two white ladies. I was like, hello, you're right. She was like, hello, we're Darra from Child Services. Um, is your mum in? Are you Aaliyah? I goes, yeah, she's in. One second. I goes, mum, the door. She goes, who is he? I goes, I don't know. I have no idea who it is. So she comes to the door and the woman said again, hiya, we're Darra from um, Child Services. We've been called by Aaliyah's school because Aaliyah said Darra. Can we come in? And my mum was like, yeah, of course, you can come in. Blah, 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 blah. So we went in the living room. First, the social workers come in and they look around the house like, <sighs> don't look around the house and say, oh, when I've just told you I'm getting beat up, I'm getting, I've told you I'm getting abused and you're looking at the wallpaper, seriously, seriously, seriously. So we went in the living room and it's me, my mum and these two social workers and then they said everything I said, they read out what my teacher wrote down, what the nurse wrote down and I'm just looking straight, my mum's here and I'm looking just straight, you know, like I'm in the room with the social workers on my own, I'm not blinking, I'm just looking at this social worker's face, then um, what happened, what happened, looking at the social worker's face and then my mum was like, I would never put my hands on my kids. I love my kids. Do you want to speak to Olivia and Amari? I've never done. Alia, why are you lying to the school? You know, sometimes I take her phone off her. Is this revenge? Because I took your phone off, yeah. I was like, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. And then I think the social worker could, could tell. Like, I went talking in front of my mum. Do you know what I mean? I weren't going to snitch in front of her face. So she took me to my bedroom. And I was like, so, like, shall I, like, get my bag now? Or... Liar. And she was like, Elia, we're not going to remove you from the home. I goes, what do you mean? She's like, yeah, we're not, we're not concerned about you. Like, you've, you live in a beautiful home. We respect to you, a few of your teachers. We're not concerned that you are... What did they say? We're not concerned that you're being neglected or abused. So we're not going to remove you from the home. I goes... Okay. She goes, we will still check upon you, um, but we're not going to remove you from the home. I goes, okay. Okay, does. So then this this home visit got wrapped up and they just, my mum just made me out to look like a compulsive liar. Don't get me wrong. I was exaggerating, but I weren't lying. She did beat me. She did beat me on Saturday. Did you get it? Like, she did give me a few slaps and I did want to go to the dumping ground. I was exaggerating, but I wasn't lying. Hello. Then, so they, they left. And then she looked at me and she goes, Perpetua, you never guess what Ria just fucking did. She had social workers come to my house, said, I beat her. Can you breathe it? They tried to lock me up. My mum said, well, well. Then she said, like, to the whole family, she said, Aria tried to get me rocked up. They tried to lock me up. Can't breathe it. Can you breathe it? Can't breathe it. And I was just like, oh, whatever. Then she booked us to have therapy. She booked me and her to have therapy to work on our relationship. I was like, mum, seriously, it's not that deep. Not that deep. But then, yeah, like, everyone just thought I was a compulsive liar. But yeah, that's the story of when I tried to get my mum put into prison for beating me. Because she's never beat me in my life. My dad's never hit me in his life. So I went about, I had to show her, like, we're not about to do this abusive shit. You get it? Hitting your kids is out of order. I don't care what anyone says. I'm never, and no one is ever putting their hand on my child. I'm never hitting Z, so I didn't expect to be hit. Up to that point, like, my mum would pinch me and stuff, but she would never, like, duff me up. That time she duffed me up. So I had to teach her a lesson, even though, and to be honest, she never hit me. She's, to this day, she's never hit me again. Like, she's cussed me and stuff, but she's never hit me, so lesson learned. You get it? Lesson learned. She, she, she had to learn. But yeah. That's the story guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back on Thursday with another video. Um, 
apologies for last week. I was just so tired. I was generally so tired. I just couldn't, I didn't have the motivation to film last week. But we're back and we're better, as I always say. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>